So we're here in Bingmington and we're at Ross Park because we hear there's a carousel here and we want to check it out. Actually, we hear there's six carousels in this Endicott, Johnson City, and Binghamton area. So we're going to see if we can find all six of them today. But this is the first one we're looking for because it's actually the one that's open the earliest in the morning. So we stopped here at the Discovery Center. We thought maybe it was here inside the building, but it's not. It's actually down by the zoo. So we're going to take a ride down by the zoo and see if we can catch that out. And then we'll fill you in more about the story behind why there are six carousels in this small area. So let's go. And they're all antique carousels. Yeah, we're, we're, we're telling you more about that as we go along. This is an interesting story. I think you're going to enjoy it. We just got off a ride on this carousel and I have to say it was a lot of fun. You forget that when you were a child, this ride in the carousel was a big event. And this one seemed to go, unless my memory is not correct, seemed to um, go pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, it moved right along. Yeah. So this is this carousel is a hundred years old. It was put in in 1920. It was built by the Alan Herschel. Uh, company out of North Tondawanda, which is happens to be very close to where Diane grew up. Uh, it is a vintage carousel. It, the rides are free, and we'll tell you more about why that is as we go visit some more of these. We've made our way to C.F. Johnson Park in our second carousel, and this carousel was installed in 1923. And let's see if we can. So this is one of the most elaborate of uh, the carousels the, uh, based on the carvings of the horses. So this will be interesting to check out and it's much more of a nicer display than the first one in the zoo. So let's go in and check this one out. And we're going for another ride. Yeah, another horse ride. and ready for a ride. You ready, Diane?
How's your ride? That's another fun ride on a carousel. This one is a lot nicer than the other one. But still, it's a great ride, a lot of fun. And as we used to call them, merry-go-rounds. Yeah, I would say the one difference on this one is the the music doesn't seem to be quite as loud, so you get more of the mechanical sounds of the carousel. But that's, you know, all adds to the ambiance of the ride. It looks like we're coming to the end. And we have to stay on the horses until the A bell lot rings. A slower, too. You're learning. The other one went quite quickly. Carousel like that etiquette. This one is more like I remember it. So this is CF Johnson Park in Johnson City, and we just finished riding the carousel. It was really nice. Yes, this one is much nicer than the one we visited at the zoo. A lot better maintained. <laughs> yep, and the horses are looking in nice shape, and it's 98 years old. Yeah, so, so yeah. Looks good for 98. Sure does. Yeah. Hope I look that good. Oh, you will. <laughs> so our next carousel is Recreation Park and that's in Bingington again. We didn't, it would have been mo the most logical one to go after the Ross uh, Park at the zoo carousel, but it wasn't open until 12.30, and so we needed to fit one in between to make our schedule for trying to get all six carousels in one day. So we're now at George F. Johnson Recreation Park, and we're at our third carousel, and this one, let's see, what was the, this one was put in, this one was built in 1925. It has been restored. It has 60 horses. The building and the um, carousel has all been restored. It's supposed to have the original two-row Wilser military band organ with bells, but I don't hear it playing in the background, so maybe it's not working today. But we're gonna go in and ride it anyways. Yep. We're gonna ride another one. Yep, bells or not. This one's cheap. Um, builders out of North Anawanda Carousel. This one's going much faster than the last one. So, this is fun. Okay. Unfortunately, the World Sir um, Bell Organ is not working, so we don't get any music with this one. They are waiting for parts and ask us to be please be patient. Which is kind of sad because those would be kind of cool to listen to, but we're riding without it anyway, so nope, such as it is. Here we go, riding the horse. Diane's horse is named Chief. You can see we got some young kids behind us enjoying their ride. something about a car carousel that kind of puts a smile on your face. So unfortunately we have to have these masks on 
and you can't see it, but I am smiling under this. This is a lot of fun. These horses are very nicely restored. They're beautiful looking. Coming to an end. And we have to wait for the bell to let us know we can exit. There it is. This carousel was a lot of fun to ride. Um, this one is a, in better shape than the first one we rode at the zoo, and it has been renovated. It is, yeah, it was, it was fun to ride as well. Yeah, yeah, I think this one's a nice one. Yeah. Behind us is a statue of George F. Johnson, and he's the benefactor to all these carousels that we're riding today. Now, George was one of the founders of Endicott Johnson Shoes, which made shoes here in the Endicott and Johnson City area of New York. And this is down in the southern tier um, area. We're not far from Pennsylvania. And George felt that um, recreation was important for kids of the, his community and he wanted to make sure that they had the opportunity to enjoy themselves because that would make them better adults. And so he built, or built, he uh, donated these six carousels to the community and with the provision that they would never be a charge to ride them. Because when he was a child, he did not have the nickel to ride the carousel. And he felt that everyone should have that opportunity. So all the carousels are free for anyone to ride and enjoy and they are all around almost a hundred years old some of them are over a hundred years so they are very vintage and it's we're having a lot of fun we're halfway through our rides and we've got three more to go so we're gonna head off to uh, find the next ones right. made it to our fourth stop this is our fourth carousel and we are in highland park and is with the other carousels, we will be riding this one. Yeah, this one looks to be like another, another real nice one that's been restored and in a nice building. So we're looking forward to riding it. It's running in the background, so we're gonna get the next ride. And they have the music going. Yes, they have music on this one. Ready for your ride? I am ready for another ride. Me too. And here we go. So I noticed this is a smaller carousel than the other ones. It's only three horses across. But it does have the music. There's Diane riding her ride. I said, there's Diane riding her ride. Riding a horse. It's about as close as you'll ever get me to riding a horse. Oh, okay. As long as they're very small and made out of wood, you ride them. I suppose with, you would also include the ones in front of the supermarket? Yes. Although you don't see them anymore. No. They're not, you know, sophisticated. Yeah. You notice because of the crank set up up at the top there, each horse pivots forward and lunges ahead of the other one. Oh, okay. So it gives that kind of a racing feel. Ride's 
coming to an end. We just finished our ride of the carousel merry-go-round at Highland Park. And I have to say, it was nice. It was easy, uh, easier to get on and off the Yeah, horses. I think it's a new, newer one. Now, we didn't, if we left the brochure in the truck, so we don't, we can't tell you what year this one is, but we think it's uh, built a little bit newer. Um, it's, it's a smaller carousel because there are only three horses across instead of four like the others have been. And um, it had music playing, but this one also had a loud squeak. <laughs> like part of the way through the ride. Are you sure or... that just wasn't kids squeak, squealing? No, 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 no. no? This, was, this was the carousel itself. Oh, okay. And it, it looked a little less well-maintained than... Well, it I mean, hasn't been refurbished as recently, right. I, is the way you want to look at The horses, the finish on the horses had a little right. wear and tear. Yeah. We're getting critical here, but it was still a nice carousel. It was nice carousel, yes. Yeah. Walk back. We are in George W. Johnson Park, and this is our fifth carousel of our adventure. So this carousel was built in 1934, and it is a three-abreast carousel. It was renovated in, let me see. 1994. 1994, and so it's in very nice shape. It's also one, I think, that's um, got more of a year-round usage with the enclosure that they have for it. So we're gonna go check this one out and give it a ride. Pick your horse. Dan always picks the biggest horse. Here we go. Yeah, we got music. This carousel, like the others we've been riding, are, is an Alan Herschel carousel built in North Tondawanda. a bumpy horse ride. This was the shortest ride of the five we've been on so far. Yeah, and a little bumpier. A little bumpier, so probably the horses were on rough terrain. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. They're galloping across, you know, the, I don't know, desert, the rocks. Something, yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah we're probably a little rough. But it, was, uh, it was another fun one. Yeah, yeah, it was. So we've got one last one to go. And this is in West Endicott, so we're head to that one, and then we will wrap ride it, it up. Yeah, yeah wrap it up. And then. Wrap it. This one probably has the best music. Yeah. We're at our sixth and final carousel ride of the day, and this is in Endic Endicott Park? West Endicott Park, yes. Okay. And like I said, this is our final carousel ride, so let's go. Yep, let's go. They're loading them up. What? The dog. Oh.
Someone's got the original music. It's a Wurlitzer. Well, that's pretty cool. The original Wurlitzer music. Uh, and it plays like a player piano. It actually has a music reel of uh, paper or whatever type of material that goes through and it tells it what to play. It's really kind of neat. music reel in the back. This is the end of our ride. We finished riding all six carousels. This was the last one. What did you think of this one? I thought it was very nice. In addition to the horses, it also had a dog and a pig. And which one did you ride? Well, if you know me at all, I rode the dog. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't make me ride the pig. Oh, no, but... that was taken, I think. <laughs> that was taken. But when you ride the carousels, you would get a card showing that you've ridden them. And when you get done riding all six, they give you a pin, they like this, this one. Oh, where is it? Nice pin. Each of us got one, so. Yep, so we each got our pin for riding all six carousels today. So mission accomplished. Right, right. Yeah. Yep, and it was, it was a fun time. Yeah, we would highly recommend, if you're in the Binghamton, Johnson City, or Endicott, city area that you check out the carousels they're they're all free yep. so bring the family and it's one of the only places in the country that you can ride six carousels when they're all within 20 miles of each other or less so they're very close right and like i said there's no charge to ride any of them yeah so yeah they're all free and they all have a pretty much parks adjacent to them. One has a zoo, but I think the rest of them have nice parks. Yeah, so bring a picnic, make a day out of it. Right, and like I said, if you have kids, they have playgrounds, very nice playgrounds. Yeah, they have some, some really nice looking playgrounds. Yeah, and they even have pools. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, and this one here at the Endicott, West Endicott Park is probably one of the nicest because it has the original music. That's an original music box from Willitzer playing in the background. It's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yep. All yep. right, well, let's go. We got more things to do. Yep, we have to go and get do something sweet to eat. <laughs> yeah, right. All right.